Burying a child is heartbreaking enough, but now criminals have made matters worse for a family in Blair. Somebody has stolen items from grave sites. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski on what they took and the appeal to get them back. It was a normal day visiting her son who died three years ago at the Blair Cemetery when she realized that something was missing. She had to check old photos of her son's headstone on her phone to see significant items, special items to them that were gone. Every second of every day, I, you know, it's just, it's just the most pain you can ever imagine. When the morning rain stops, Karen Hill cleans up her son Trent's headstone. She visits him almost every day at the Blair Cemetery and says it helps her keep going since she still struggles with the loss three years later. I mean, I still can't believe it's true. He's gone. I can't. Trent, a sophomore at Blair, died in a rollover crash in 2014. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt. She says sometime in the afternoon of May 14th, someone stole four to five items from his headstone, a stab to the heart of a grief-stricken mother. Like I said, for somebody to have their filthy hands, here's my son smiling, he can't do nothing. I wasn't able to save him from the r tragedy. I couldn't save him from this. You know, I'm a mother, I'm supposed to protect my baby. The items include a stone angel, a Green Bay Packers gnome, Trent's favorite team, also a green cross necklace placed there by his friend Brooke. Brooke and her sister have the same one. When I heard it was gone, I was very heartbroken because the peace for all three of us that we were once all together is gone. So now, now that it's gone, it's, it feels like we're all apart. Karen says another nearby family has experienced similar thefts. The Blair Police Department says they haven't received any police reports on the crimes, but cemeteries can be targets because their public area is open for long hours. Karen hopes someone will do the right thing and come forward because memories and keepsakes are all she has left. All I can do is clean the stone and bring stuff and try to keep his memory alive. Again, Hill says all she really wants is for her items to be returned so they can continue to be displayed. Reporting from Blair, Jake Wasikowski, 3 News Now. That is an absolute shame. By the way, if you have any information on the stealing, you can text crime tips to 274-637 or contact investigators on the Blair Crime Stoppers Facebook page. Earlier this month, 